Hey guys and welcome back to We Make Stuff. So today I'm going to be cooking a chicken quesadilla. I'm really excited about this because I've made a normal quesadilla without chicken of my own recipe before. Although I thought today, since I've got spare roast chicken, I thought why don't I just put it in the quesadilla as well. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to need for this recipe is you're going to need some salsa that can be bought or homemade, some grated cheese, quite a lot of it, because it makes a good quesadilla if it says loads of cheese. You need two tortilla wraps and some shredded chicken. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to get a tortilla wrap and you want to smear it with lots of salsa because you don't want any blank spots on your tortilla wrap because then it just won't be as nice. So keep on smearing right up to the edges you may need to add some more salsa so just keep smearing until you've got a nice even coverage and then we can move on to the next step okay so you need to start by putting some oil in a pan over a medium heat and just start moving that around so that the whole pan is covered in some nice hot oil to get cooking once you have covered the whole pan in oil, just turn down the heat of your stove so that when you put on the wrap, it doesn't burn. Okay, so you want to start off by putting on your wrap once you've heated up the oil, covered in salsa. And then you want to grab your chicken and just place it all over the wrap so that it covers every bit. Because if you do that, then you get a piece of chicken in every bite of your wrap. And then once you've finished with the chicken, you can move on to the cheese. So just get your grated cheddar cheese and just cover the whole thing. This might seem like a lot of cheese, although believe me, the more cheese, the better, because it's really nice with lots of cheese. So just get it all over. And then once you've done that, you can just grab your other wrap and just put it on top like so. Okay, and once you think that that side is cooked, then you can just use two tools to flip it over, like so, and then you can just be able to see that the top has been evenly cooked, and just leave it one or two more minutes just for the other side to cook and the cheese to become fully melted. Okay, so once you think that it's ready to come off the heat, just pick it up like you did before, although instead of flipping it, just place it onto a plate, and now all you need to do is cut it and enjoy. Okay, so once you've got your quesadilla, then you just want to use a pizza cutter or just a normal knife and just cut it into however many slices you'd like. And there you go. You've now got your quesadilla. And here we have it, our nice chicken quesadilla. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It was delicious and I really do recommend you trying to make this at home so thanks for watching um i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you next sunday bye guys thanks for watching